click the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to never miss another update. In ancient times, people lived in a city called Thamud. The city was surrounded by high mountains full of beautiful gardens and streams. The people had built for themselves homes on the hillsides that no storm or earthquake could ever destroy. The people of Thamud were idolaters and like their ancestors worshipped idols made of wood and stone. In the city there lived a man named Saleh. He was wise and just. All the people respected and loved him. God also selected him as a prophet of the people of Thamud and commanded him to guide the people. Prophet Saleh went out to the people and said loudly, O oh people, I am the messenger of God. Worship God and be thankful to God who has given you so many blessings. One of the rich men came forward and said, You are one of us. How do you say you are a prophet of God? The other man smiled and said, O oh righteous Saleh, you are a wise man before this. Now you're just stupid. We used to think you could help us out of trouble, said another idolater, but now we see you were wrong. Prophet Saleh said, These idols are made out of stone. How can you worship them? One of the aristocrats said, Saleh, don't insult our idols. If you really are a prophet, you must have a miracle. Prophet Saleh said, It is easy for our great God to perform miracles. But if I do miracles, then will you believe in God and stop idolatry? Everyone shouted, Yes, we will believe. Okay, I will show you a miracle. Bring your idols to me tomorrow. I want to talk to them, Prophet Saleh said. The next day, the idolaters brought their idols to a large mountain and told Prophet Saleh, Come and try. Prophet Saleh went to the big idol and shouted, but no answer was heard. Talk to another one, one aristocrat said. Prophet Saleh called the idols one after another, but no sound was heard. The idolaters came in front of their idols and rolled on the ground, making strange moves and noises so that their idols might speak, but it was to no avail, and only one of them shook. Prophet Saleh laughed and said, Stop, they cannot speak, this is pointless. Now ask my god something. One of them came forward and said, Oh Saleh, tell your god to bring a female camel out of the mountain. Everyone said, Hurry up Saleh, if you are truthful, we will all believe in your god. Hurry up. Prophet Saleh said, This is a very difficult thing to do, but it's easy for god. Then Prophet Saleh raised his hands to the sky and asked god in his heart to show his miracle. A moment later, a terrible sound came from the mountain, and one side of the mountain split open. Shortly afterwards, the camel came out. Everybody was stunned. Prophet Saleh said happily, Believe now that you have seen the power of the one God. The people and the adolescents left, and only a few believed in Prophet Saleh. One idol worshipper shouted, Wow, that's magical! Saleh is a wizard! It turns out that Saleh is a magician. Only a magician can do that, another said. At this time, Prophet Saleh climbed a few boulders and shouted, Listen everyone, this camel is a sign from the one God. If you harm it, God will punish you. This camel will live among you. You can also use the camel's milk. Days went by and the camel lived among the people. People also used its milk. For this reason, they were constantly thinking of this righteous miracle and no longer paid attention to their idols. Some also believed in Prophet Saleh. This made the chiefs of the nation think about how to kill the righteous camel. One day, the idolatrous chiefs came together to make a plan. One of them said, if this continues, our idols will be invalidated and no one will work for us anymore. This camel must be killed. Others accepted his plan. The next day, when the righteous camel had gone to the spring to drink water, several people attacked it and killed the animal. When Prophet Sali realized that they had killed the camel, he was sad and turned to the idol worshippers and loudly said, Why did you kill the camel? What harm did that camel do to you? Why did you kill it? The adults were silent and said nothing. Now you only have three days to believe in the great God and ask him to forgive you, Prophet Saleh said. One of the aristocrats laughed and said, We have no fear of the punishment of your God. The other said, If you are truthful, say to your Lord, send his doom today. We are ready. Just wait, your punishment is coming, Prophet Saleh said. On the third day, the sky suddenly turned black and thundered so loudly that the eardrums of all the adolescents burst. The idolaters, who were frightened, sought refuge in their homes. There were a few more thunderstorms and then suddenly, flames started dropping from the sky. There was fire everywhere. Trees, fields and houses all turned into ashes. The idol worshippers screamed and fled but were all killed. Except for Prophet Saleh and his companions, all were burned and destroyed in the fire. 
Prophet Saleh, along with his relatives and companions, left the city and began a new life in another land.